In Ideal Cooking in Carla's Kitchen today, we're making a gluten-free pound cake. Um, I'm doing that by using uh, almond flour, which I have just taken my Cuisinart and blended up the almonds until they're really fine. So all you do is take, add your sugar substitute. I did uh, Splenda this time. I'm just experimenting with lots of different brands right now, trying to find the ones that I, my favorite is still the Suzanne Summers Baking Blend, but I'm trying to find other ones that are more convenient and more cost effective to use on my blog. Then you just mix in some salt and some baking powder. Now, what I'm doing with this pound cake, there's lots of different things, but today I'll be making a, a raspberry lemon trifle. And so I'll come back and after the cake gets baked, I'll show on a different video how to make the trifle. I'm going to grab the video camera and then bring it over here and show you the, lap, the next one. Okay, what I've got in here is six ounces of the cream cheese, and then I've got some margarine, the, balance, the New Balance uh, non-trans fat margarine. And I'm going to blend that up, so I'm going to start that and until it gets really smooth. I'll come back and show you what it looks like. In the meantime, I've whipped up to the uh, eggs in this container, which we'll add to later. Turn this up and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when it's ready for that. Okay, this is what it looks like when it's creamed. Now I'm going to start it again and just add the eggs to it. I'm going to blend that for another minute until it's really good and blended and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what the uh, uh, almond flour looks like and this is what the mix. Now I put the eggs and the cream cheese and the margarine. So I'm just going to pour that into there. Oops. Hard to do this and hold the camera. So I'm just going to mix this up. In the meantime, you'll see I've prepared a pan. I put some parchment paper on the bottom of a bread loaf pan. Now I'm going to take this and just mix it up until it's all mixed. And I'm going to pour it into the pan and bake it. Got the oven on 300. And I'm going to bake it slow for an hour and a half until the toothpick comes out clean. So I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like in the pan and then into the oven and once it gets baked. Okay, this is what it looks like in the pan. I'm going to take it over and put it in the oven. Okay, this is what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. I'll uh, cut it up and show you a slice of it next. And there it is, sliced up. You can see. And it's so tasty.